Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. It's a nice late winter, early spring day here in Chicago. The weather's changing, so people are feeling good about it. I am too. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today, we're going to look at setting up stable diffusion through RunPod, which is a cloud-based AI computer rental service, I guess you can call it, um, because stable diffusion can get very, um, it could take up a lot of resources on your computer, not only resources to render out images, but space, disk space. So one of the best solutions to run stable diffusion in the cloud is through RunPod. All right, before we jump into that, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button. Click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. That would be great. If you're into digital design, there is something here for you. All right. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. I've been putting a lot of really good content out. and I've been getting a lot of great feedback on it. Help me get to 8,000 followers. That would be great. All right, let's jump into the tutorial. So I'm here at runpod.io, and you'll want to just sign up and create an account. And then once your account is created, you can go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you're on RunPod and you're logged in, you want to go over to billing, and you want to add some credit. And to get started, I would add $25 worth of credit. That should last a fairly long time. Okay, so for the pods, what you're going to want to get is you're going to want to get a GPU pod, which runs uh, a server with a really good graphics card. That's what you're looking for, a, a good GPU so that you can run stable diffusion in. So you're going to click on the plus for the GPU, and there's two options. There's a secure cloud and a community cloud. Community cloud is nice because it's less expensive, but once you shut down your server, someone else can take that server away from you and you won't be able to get back on that server that has your files stored in it. So to keep using files stored in it, which you're going to need for stable diffusion, you're going to want to set up a secure cloud. And also with a secure cloud, you're going to want to set up a network volume. And you can start with um, 100 gigabytes. And you're only going to be charged for the space that you use. And you're going to want to give that um, volume server a name. So there's different data centers that, will, that you'll be able to rent a server from. So there's Canada, there's Europe, um, a few of these Europe ones. And you see when I'm highlighting over them, what it's showing me is the availability of a server with its GPU. So you're seeing A40 or RTX A5000. So those are the GPUs um, that you can rent from on the cloud. So it's not that important which one you pick. It's kind of which server are you looking for. And I've noticed that these cloud servers, they don't have the RTX 3090 or 4090. That's kind of the preferred GPU for running Stable Diffusion, but they do have the RTX A5000, which is a really good one. Um, and some of these are the, are, are the RTX A4500. That's a good one. RTX 4000. Any of these RTX in the 3, 4, 5000 range will work just fine. So you'll also see different colors. So you'll see red is low availability. Orange is medium availability and I almost never see high except for that A40 and usually when it's a high availability it's an expensive server to rent from. So 
any of these, I think, with the RTX A4500 or 5000. So I'm going to try this Europe one, which is RTX A4500. So I'm just going to click on Create, and that creates my network volume storage, and I can click on that. So you see that at the top. Now at the bottom here, I have my choices of servers that I can deploy. So this one did have a, it does have an RTX 4090, but it's 74 cents an hour versus an RTX 4080A, which is only 39 cents an hour. And when I look at some of these, yeah, there's a dollar 89 an hour. That's always going to be available for you. But this one in the lower right, the one times RTX A4000, that's, that one is fine to run stable diffusion and it's only 34 cents an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and click on deploy for that one. Okay, now we have to search for a template. A template is something that's installed on this GPU cloud server. So we're going to be running Stable Diffusion. So I'm just going to type in Stable, uh, and I get two options for Stable Diffusion. There's a Fast Stable, stable Diffusion, and then there's a Run Pod Stable Diffusion. I'm going to choose the Run Pod Stable Diffusion. Not much else needs to be checked here. Um, the Start Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Notebook is, is clicked on and we're gonna need that and we'll see that in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Continue. And I'm gonna click on Deploy. So we get this really nice landing screen where it's building our GPU pod for us. And then we're presented with this screen and we're gonna have a down arrow on the right and what it's doing is it's, it's going ahead and logging into that GPU and it's setting up that GPU with the run pod stable diffusion for us. The next thing we're going to click on is connect. Now I have noticed that the Jupiter, <laughs> Jupiter, the Jupiter, I'll just call it Jupiter from now on, the Jupiter lab port. Uh, a lot of times is not ready. So I'm going to close this um, because one of the things that is asking me is your service running? Check your logs or read the README. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my logs. And we'll see at the bottom it says syncing VENV to workspace. Please wait. This could take a while on first startup. So that's still happening behind the scenes. Once that's done syncing to the workspace, then we'll be able to launch Jupyter. So while we're waiting for our GPU to finish setting up, we're going to head on over to Civit AI. So Civit AI is a place where we can find all of the models that we need to use in Stable Diffusion. So people have made these models so that the images that are produced in Stable Diffusion have a certain look to them, a certain feel to them. So the four that I'm going to search for are Architecture Real Mix, Fredman Redman, Dream Sheeper 8, and Epic Realism. And I'm just going ahead and searching those in the model category. So here for models, I can go ahead and I can type those names in and I can find those at Civit AI. Something I want to point out about these is sometimes it just says download, uh, which is helpful for us because we're going to right click on it and we're going to choose copy link address. And we're going to be pasting that over in the Jupyter port in RunPod.io. Um, but you'll notice this one says download. But when I get to Dream Shaper 8, it says create. And when I go to this down arrow, it says model safe tensor. So safe tensor is the file extension for these models that we put into our stable diffusion. And it won't understand this safe tensor when it says create. So what I have to do is I have to right click on it and say copy link address and then paste that into a new tab and then take away all this back end stuff up to the model number. So I take all that away and then I copy and paste this portion of it into my Jupyter launch port uh, terminal window and we'll see that in just a bit. So here we can see from the log that it's finished the install for Stable Diffusion. And that can take some time, so you have to really be patient. That took 
uh, well over <laughs> five minutes. That probably took about 10 minutes for that to happen. So once that happens, then I can click on connect and then I can connect to the Jupyter port. So the Civet AI checkpoint models that I showed us, um, they need to go into a specific folder. So over on the left here, we need to double click on Stable Diffusion and we need to go down to Models. And then under Models, we'll find a Stable Diffusion folder. And this is where our checkpoint models will go. So those four models that I just showed you, we have to basically in a roundabout way, copy those files here. And the way we do that is we click on Terminal. And then we type in wget space. And then we have to paste in the link addresses to these. So in this case, when it just says download, I can right click on it and I can choose copy link address. And I can go back over to my terminal and control V and paste that in and then press the enter key and it goes through the process of copying that checkpoint model now these checkpoint models are rather large they're between two and five gigabytes so that's one reason we're using runpod is because these checkpoint models which will need several of these can take up so much space on our computer so we're using these runpod cloud servers to store our files and those files will be available to us every time we log in because we are using the server cloud, not the community cloud, and we're using the volume storage. Now these files come in, um, they're not named correctly. So we need to click on them, right click, and choose rename. And I just call them the name um, that they're named over on Civit AI. So this is architectural architecture real mix so architecture real mix now what's important here is the extension is dot safe tensors t e n s o r s so that safe tensors has to be spelled correctly that's the most important part of it and then that will rename it if i make this window a little bigger we can see that so on the right it's still it's still downloading that checkpoint model. Okay, so once that's finished, you see that happening. So I won't go ahead and download all four of them, but I want to download one where it says create and just kind of show that process again. So where it says create, um, those don't work over in uh, the Jupyter port to run Stable Diffusion. So I have to click on the down arrow here and then hover over it and then I go ahead and choose copy link address and then I paste that into a new tab and I get rid of everything up to the model number and then I can select that copy it into the clipboard go back over to the Jupyter port and type in W get space control V to paste it and then you'll see that's going through the process of copying that file and then once it shows up on the left, you can rename it. You can rename it right away. You don't have to wait for it to finish downloading. So I'll go to rename. And that particular one, <laughs> what was, which one was that? Uh, it was probably this Dream Shaper 8. So I can go ahead and call that Dream Shaper 8. Dream Shaper 8 dot safe tensors. That's the important part, safe tensors. So once those are done, we're going to check and see if they're working properly in Stable Diffusion. So we're going to go back over to My Pods, and we're going to connect to the HTTP server port 3001. So now we're here in our Stable Diffusion interface. And at the top are our checkpoint diffusion models. So if I click on the down arrow for that, I don't see either of the two that I downloaded. So what I need to do is I need to click on this refresh. And then they're going to show up. So just a little step to make those show up. So I'm going to try Architecture Realmix and just make sure that this is 
working properly. So in my prompt area, I'm going to type in a aerial view of a museum in Chicago in the parametric style fine lace filigree facade. So something really simple. And I'm going to make sure that these are spelled uh, correctly. I think facade is spelled correctly. It just doesn't understand it. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on generate to make sure this is working. So you see these servers run pretty quickly. Um, so that's the nice thing. If you have this on your laptop and you don't have a great GPU or graphics card, that's going to take a while to render out. Um, so there we see our image. Not great, but on the next several videos I make, we're going to work on making that image great. Okay, so let's look at how to terminate this pot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close my terminal and I'm going to close my stable diffusion window and I'm just going to go over to my pods and I'm going to close this window and I am going to click on the garbage can to terminate and that's okay because all my checkpoint models will be available for me in my network volume drive so I don't have to worry about terminating this and losing any information so I'm going to click on the garbage can to terminate and I'm just going to click yes and that deletes my pod and like I said all the checkpoint models that I copied will be available for me next time I check or next time I rent out a GPU pod. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a like and let me know why in the comments. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. Go ahead and click on that to subscribe. Two more related videos are going to be in the upper right and the lower right. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.